When we talk about placements on Facebook, we are referring to where the advertisement shows up on the page. Facebook provides four options, newsfeed, mobile newsfeed, right column, and partner mobile apps. An advertisement can appear on multiple places, or you can choose to restrict where they appear. In my experience, the newsfeed offers the biggest bang for the buck. These ads more often than not see a higher click-through rate than the others. Now keep in mind, Facebook is constantly evolving, therefore things may change. But for now, in the foreseeable future, the news feed is a great place to focus on. It might be slightly more expensive, but in the long run, you'll likely see a better result. Last time we left off in the text and images section of the Ad Create tool. It's in this preview window on the right, which we saw earlier, that we control placement. Facebook automatically defaults to the four options, but you can enable them or disable them as necessary. We will start with the desktop preview that is opened up by default. It is in this window that I can scroll down or up to see all the ads associated with this campaign. As we click on each section, we can preview how the ads look in each placement option. You cannot delete an ad from this view. You will have to remove the image from the previous section to remove that ad completely. You can, however, remove an entire placement by selecting Remove in the upper right-hand corner. Doing so will prevent your ad from showing up in that placement. In this case, I will click Remove, meaning my ads will no longer show up in the desktop news feed. If you want to add the placement back, you can click the Add link to the right or use the link in the center of the preview area. In this case, I'll choose to turn on desktop news feed ads. Let's take a look at the mobile. I'll do that by scrolling down and choosing Mobile News Feed tab. Now this looks fairly similar, and you could add or remove it like we did before with the option in the upper right. But this time we also have the option to see a feature phone preview. I'll click this link in the upper right, and the ads will change to reflect how a feature phone user will see these ads. You may be thinking, what's a feature phone preview? Now, feature phones aren't as common today as they used to be, but they are still very popular in certain countries and within certain various regions of the USA. A feature phone refers to a phone that has internet capability, but lacks most of the functionality a smartphone has. Next, I will choose the right column from the very bottom, and we will see what those placements look like. In this case, I will be removing these placements, as I don't think it will be very effective for our purpose. Select the placement most appropriate for your audience and your objectives. For example, if you are targeting younger crowd, then you may want to focus on the mobile devices. However, if you do decide to run mobile advertisements that link to another website, make sure that page is optimized for a mobile experience. There is nothing worse than driving mobile traffic to a website that is not usable on a mobile phone. 